Hi everyone, my name is Steph, welcome back to the Novelty Corner and today I'm here to review The Secret Life of Stars by Lisa Harvey Smith. This was sent to me for review by Thames and Hudson Australia as part of their blog tour for this book and I am so glad that they did. It is a non-fiction book all about the stars, written by an award-winning astronomer and also a professor at the University of New South Wales. Lisa Harvey Smith is also the Australian Government Ambassador for Women in STEM and she writes this book with such love and such humour that makes it really accessible to a whole host of audiences. Something my viewers may not know about me is that from a very young age I've loved everything to do with space and sciences and you know growing up I wanted to be an astronomer or an astrophysicist until I worked out really quickly that the maths and sciences were really not a place for me. So it remains a hobby rather than a career path and that's okay because it means I get to experience the work of other people. Lisa Harvey Smith takes us on a journey through the solar system exploring all sorts of different stars including our own star the sun but then moving out and talking about the differences between pulsars and blue stragglers and white dwarfs and supernovas and black holes which to be honest that was my favorite chapter I love black holes and Lisa Harvey Smith really made that super accessible and put it all into perspective what Lisa highlights in her book is how diverse the stars truly are and, and even beyond that and while she does use a lot of technical terms in here she, she does also explain it in layman's terms so that everyone can access and can understand it. I particularly liked her habit of renaming stars to make them easier to remember because if you know anything about the naming system of stars which Lisa does actually detail in her book it can get quite complicated because it's usually just a series of letters and numbers that mean something to the people who study them but probably less so to those of us who want to enjoy them. The one thing I have to say is I loved how she injected so much humour into it and related it back to pop culture and things that people would understand because that does allow an entry point for people. Even just within the first chapter she writes, the fact is our universe is home to a whole host of temperamental personalities. We see stable dwarf stars, unpredictable giants and many in between. We see kind stars, devious stars, selfish and just plain weird stars and it's so true and as she begins to unpack the different types of stars that there are you do see that there is so much diversity and that even though scientists have discovered some traits of different types of stars they don't always behave the way that they would want them to or that the way that they think they should. The other thing that I really liked is that, that she does center this around her work here in Australia I think makes it even more relatable for those of us in the southern hemisphere because quite often a lot of the information we get or a lot of the easily accessible publications for the layperson are published based off northern hemisphere requirements so it's really nice to have something centered on Australia. It also brought back some memories for me that I sort of haven't thought about for a while because Lisa talks about working out at Narrabri at the radio telescope array which I was really fortunate enough to visit when I was 13. I had no idea back then really what radio astronomy was but reading through her chapter and, and learning about how she used that radio telescope array to study the stars really made sense to me and I could picture it really clearly. If you are a bit of an armchair astronomer I really recommend that you pick up this book it's really quite fun particularly if you have kids who are really interested in the stars and knowing a little bit more about all the differences and the variety that you might find. I think this is a really fantastic easy to understand book that will give you heaps of information to get started. So thank you again to Taves and Hudson for sending me a copy of this book I'm so glad that I read it. In the description box down below I will leave a whole lot of links where you can check out where you can find the book and also information on how you can follow Lisa and follow the publishers so definitely check those out if you are interested. I hope that wherever you are in the world you are staying safe and healthy and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy star watching.